Well, I seem to have run out of space in my interior camera, so I might have left it running at some point by accident, or um, the last stage is a bit longer than expected. Right, this is Britain's only true Alpine Pass, apparently. It's the Pass of the Cow. It's got a different name in Scottish that I can't remember. Stage seven would see us driving from Applecross to Aileen Donan Castle via Britain's only true Alpine Pass, the Bilak Nabar, or Pass of the Cattle in English, then the A896 and A890. This is the Retro Labs West Scotland Adventure. You can see a fairly long way down the road. Um, oh yeah, it curves round to the right, yeah, nice. Bumpy, isn't it? Yeah, that bit there where there's a high spot in the middle of flat and something. Oh, really? A bit too bumpy to get any pace up, really. I think that car park's basically the summit, so we should get a pretty sick view as we come round here down in the valley and then we drop down, um, well back down the mountain basically, over. Yep, yep, for the years will pop again. Haha, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you keep your pace a bit low. You notice um, that the road is particularly higher in the middle than the outside edges, give me a heads up. Yeah, it's pretty flat at the moment, um, but yeah, I'll keep an eye out for ridges, over. Right. MX-5 for us to annoy now, just pull down in front of us. Uh -oh. Yeah, check out that view down to the left, nice. Lovely. He's letting us fast.
We were held up by a very inconsiderate camper van for the rest of the pass, so we're now heading to Aileen Donnan Castle on the A890. Donan is a small tidal island located in the Kintail National Scenic Area found in the Western Highlands of Scotland and is surrounded on three sides by three different sea locks, Loch Dewish, Loch Long and Loch Ausch. The name Aileen Donan, which means Island of Donan, comes from the Celtic Saint Donan of Eig, who is said to have established a church on the island in the 7th century. The castle currently occupying the island is a reconstruction of a 12th century castle that was destroyed in 1719 by government forces during the Jacobite uprising. The castle was purchased by Lieutenant Colonel John McRae Gilstrap in 1911 and restoration of the castle began in 1912, which was completed in 1932. We gave Stage 7 of the Retrolab's West Scotland Adventure a disappointingly low score of 48.5 points. 48.5 points put Stage 7 into last place on our Adventure Leaderboard, scoring even lower than the motorway that took us to Scotland. The score is not enough to get Stage 7 onto our overall leaderboard's top 10, it is actually in the bottom 4 out of all the stages we have ever driven. I thought the Pass of the Cattle had a chance of being one of the best roads we had ever driven, but the stage was let down by the poor surface quality, masses of traffic and difficulty overtaking. Avoid this road if you are looking for driving enjoyment. 